Queens in New York is the worst infected district in what is now the world's worst infected city. And the doctors and nurses don't know what's hit them. How is it? Hell. Biblical. I kid you not. People come in, they get intubated, they die, the cycle repeats. Are you overwhelmed? Yeah, the, the system's overwhelmed all over the place. My daughter's an intern in Brooklyn, first year resident. She starts the ICU today. I couldn't sleep last night. It, it, it's, it's scary. They are overrun in this hospital, so stretched that an area of the waiting room has been screened off to make a temporary ward. In an internal email, the chief medical officer told staff it was the humanitarian mission of their lifetime. Right now it's every day, it's non-stop, literally, and uh, unfortunately it might get to a situation you have to pick and choose what you're going to do, how you're going to do. And as the doctor said, a lot of people come, they not really survive, they expire, and you put the same machine on another person, and you cannot really even cope with the situation because it's so hard to think about this. And we try to do our, our best. The only thing I ask everyone, I know you guys from England, we live in the States, stay at home if you don't need to go anywhere. Don't try to, to do anything crazy right now. It's a serious pandemic. Every hospital or medical center we go to is flat out. New York, a city no stranger to disaster, could be on the cusp of something it has never experienced before. 9-11 was nothing compared to this. We were open waiting for patients to come who never came. OK, now they just keep coming. And they're all ages. Don't delude yourself into thinking only the old will die or will get it. They're all ages. But like 9-11, it is New York's doctors, nurses, paramedics and first responders who are putting other lives ahead of their own. The number of confirmed cases is going up here by about 5,000 every single day. And they're just about coping. And think this is one of the most advanced medical systems in the world here. But what is becoming quite clear is New York is reaching a tipping point and far sooner than anyone here expected. Queens is where Donald Trump grew up. He's repeatedly described this health crisis as a war. Well, now his hometown is on the front line. Alistair Bunkle, Sky News, New York.